I'm in Corvallis, Oregon. I'm in my neighborhood. And today I'm going to talk about something that strangely I haven't talked about directly, which is bicycling in Corvallis. Even though I've been on my bicycle a lot in Corvallis. And so right here we have a major arterial street. This is Van Buren. Um, it leads to a bridge out of town. And as you can see, we have a bike lane. So for the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try out what it's like to war ride on a bike lane on an arterial street. And then we're gonna see other ways we can ride our bicycle. So after following the bike lane for just a couple blocks through that intersection right there, here that's dashed because people can turn, cars can turn into this right going lane. Um, and even though it's technically or it's theoretically a protected bike lane, this is a busy intersection. You could have distracted drivers. So for me at this point, I would not choose to go through there. And if you look at the other end, I don't know if it continues on there. You have parked cars. So if I had a choice, I would not bicycle here, even though we have a lane. And that is, this is an example, but there's a number of places in Corvallis where you have a bike lane on an arterial street and They've gone to some effort to make this marked off, but it only takes one. It only takes one. Anyway, so I'm going to maybe walk, um, and then I'll show you uh, another aspect, hopefully more encouraging. One caveat I should give about what I'm showing today is, as mentioned in the past, we do have bridge construction going on here. So the traffic downtown is a little bit more gnarly, and the bike pass is disrupted. But one thing I did want to show along here is we have this bike path where I've seen before uh, along Riverfront Commemorative Park. And uh, this is part of a bike path that actually goes theoretically out to Newport, the C2C Trail, which I also have a video of at least about the introduction. And right here it goes through downtown along the river and next to the dining and entertainment district. So I'm going to show a little bit about this. Uh, Corvallis has a number of bike paths and this is one of them. So it's probably obvious this bike path is mostly suited for recreation. And that's I think true of most of the bike paths in and around Corvallis, the network, is that they're mostly out there for sport and recreation cycling. Um, this isn't really a commuting path. I mean, I'm sure some people use it for that. But most of the bike paths in Corvallis, I would say, are definitely for recreational cycling. So I walked a couple blocks into downtown and into the dining and entertainment district. And this is another thing I wanted to point out about how friendly the infrastructure is. Not only do we have bike locks or bike places to lock bikes to, staple locks, we have a nice little shelter. Um, to keep your bike dry and so when you're uh, locking unlocking it, you're not getting rained on in the winter rain that happens. So it's nice that people are going to that and then you look over here like you never have to walk far to find a place to lock your bike. Um, there's even more. Uh, so the infrastructure is here. Uh, it is friendly. There's a, it's just considered a normal part of being in downtown uh, Corvallis. Um, so that is there and so maybe I was being a little bit harsh when I was talking about I don't like the bike lanes because otherwise there's a lot of bike infrastructure here in Corvallis. And, then and more bike. and more. I was like laying here. So every intersection there's like a bike rack on every corner. Uh, Actually, and I don't actually know if that is a city program or if individual businesses put them up or what, but one way or another, there are a lot of bike racks here in downtown Corvallis. So I've exited downtown and now I am in Harrison, which is the pair of Van Buren and the same caveat supply, but I am going to get in this. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, dude. I am going to get in this bike lane here and ride for a couple blocks into the residential neighborhoods of Corvallis. So here Harrison crosses 9th Street and they're both arterial streets and I could bicycle down 9th Street, uh, it has a bike lane but the same 
cares apply. So instead, if you can see through the lens flare, I'm gonna go a block and start from there. So here I'm turning off of Harrison and onto 11th. And 11th does not have its own bike lane, but we have this symbol. This is a shared street. Um, so I will be driving and there'll be traffic, but as you can see, there won't be a lot of traffic. So I'm just gonna uh, bicycle down this residential street for a while. So, usually when I'm bicycling around Corvallis, rather than try to use a bike lane or trying to use a bike trail, a lot of times I'm just doing this. I'm just riding down a quiet residential street. Well, let's see how quiet it is. By the way, this is a little bit risky and maybe obnoxious because I have my camera out while I'm riding. In a second, I will put it down and focus on the road. And you can see nobody else is riding there on the sidewalk. So yeah, there's a lot of just nice little quiet residential streets like this, especially close in. So usually when I'm around Corvallis, I'm just riding on my bicycle, usually not holding my camera. We even have a sign. This is a neighborhood bikeway. There you go. Also a bicycle cooperative here, kind of a missed opportunity. I've been here for three years and I didn't get involved with that. Of course, the beginning was the pandemic and stuff. Anyway, so there's a lot of uh, bike-friendly culture here. But even on the residential streets, we have to cross streets that are a little bit busier before continuing. So one thing to point out and to put this into context is if you look at most lists of bicycle-friendly cities in the U.S., Corvallis is usually near the top of the list. Um, I looked at several different lists and I couldn't figure out which one was definitive because anybody can make a list. But in general, uh, Corvallis is a bicycle friendly city. So when I'm talking about the pros and cons here, um, some of the con for me is that like, if you look at those bike lanes, those aren't in like some terrible, you know, strode suburb somewhere in Ohio or something. That's uh, something in a bicycle friendly city and a bicycle friendly state. Um, so it's just something to consider that even in places where bicycles are supposed to be, you know, common and welcomed, there's still places where they're not, um, not in fact, even if efforts have been made. And I'm not trying to complain too much, I'm just trying to show the reality that like, yeah, bicycles are still kind of like an also here. Even in a city like this, they're still an also not really thought of as a primary way to build the city around. Right now we're on Walnut, on the north end of town. I had two other points I wanted to make about bicycling in Corvallis, and one of them is kind of being made for me, which is so far I've been bicycling in the residential areas that are pretty flat. Well, there, there are many residential areas. I've been the original, you know, inner core of Corvallis, which was all on the plain next to Willamette. And this is one of the things where it's hard to really show, um, but it's easy to feel. Like if you look at a hill like this, once we're leaving the center of town, that slope might not look too big, but um, it could do a number on your legs. So a lot of about the easy places to bicycle in Corvallis are just physically easy. And then when you go to the west and the north end of town and you get into these hills, especially when they dip and they turn, um, it's hard to bicycle and sometimes a little bit unsafe because there can be blind turns. So quite a different world of bicycling when you get this far north. So behind me, we have a bike path and this is separate and it goes away from the road for a while. Uh, and that's another independent bike path, nice to cycle, not too long, not too scenic, but it is a bike path. Then we have this intersection. Over there we have another road. This is the double intersection. Maybe the worst spot in Corvallis as far as intersections go. And then here, going north out of town on 99 West, a road we've been on many times. It goes to Adair Village, Monmouth, McMinnville. Um, you can see we have a pretty narrow, narrow lane and a lot of traffic that's loud. I mean, there, just saw a car pull over. So that's one thing about the bike infrastructure. Sorry, I'm adjusting myself. In Corvallis is that it's pretty nice in the city and then when you go to the north, east, south, or west out of the city, as I've seen various times, 
um, pretty soon you're into like where you're getting a narrow shoulder on a busy road. So if the bicycling is nice for tooling around town, it might be nice for commuting. And if you know where to find the uh, smaller roads outside of town, there are some nice bicycle rides out of town. But it really is a thing where it's like a lot of that uh, bike mindedness is confined to Corvallis. And as we can see, not even directly to Corvallis. So I have a good time bicycling in Corvallis, but it is not perfect. By the way, there's Zippy, who's been so faithful to me over the past couple years. Um, so for bicycling Corvallis, for the bike lanes, I'd give them maybe a C plus. They're a good try, but I try not to use them when I can. Um, for the independent bike path, I give a B. And then for the residential streets, that's actually the best thing. I give those an A minus, almost perfect. So that's just a short uh, view of bicycling in Corvallis because I've obviously done a lot of bicycling over the past three years. And it's kind of a weird place to leave it because this is not a bicycle friendly place, but that kind of describes what that's like. Okay, hope that's good information. Um, just my view, there's other viewpoints on that, of course. And to end on a more positive note, I'll show a little bit of me bicycling down this bike path next to the highway, so there's still some noise, but as you can see, I have no obstructions to bicycling along, holding a camera. Over there, there are railroad tracks, so that's why there's a bicycle path here, because this land is otherwise not quite usable because it's between, between a highway and a railroad track, so they keep it for that. It only goes for a mile or two, but it is a nice ride. And there are paths with a little bit better scenery, but it's basically my point is, despite having a quibble or two, Bicycling in Corvallis is a nice thing, and I'm uh, happy to have had the chance to do it a lot in these past three years. So, there I can leave it on a positive note as I go through the underpass and back home.